last December in New York and New Jersey, gets a severe test. It's loaded with sandbags that bring its weight to 48,000 pounds, 3,000 over the legal limit. Now the pilot feathers one of the propellers. Heavily weighted, one engine dead, the C-46 flies. The test is conducted by an association of non-scheduled airlines to prove to the Civil Aeronautics Board the plane's airworthiness. But landing's the real test. With one engine out, can she do it? She does, and the test's a success. At Bridgeport, Connecticut, a helicopter, for the first time, is approved for scheduled airline passenger service and gets the CAA's airworthiness certificate. Builder Igor Sikorsky builds pilot Jim Tudor good flying as the copter goes into its act. It's the Sikorsky S-55, seating 10 to 12 passengers and with a range of 495 miles. Military versions of this amazingly maneuverable plane have been in frontline service in Korea for a year and have logged 11,000 miles. This ship, which now goes into commercial use, lands anywhere. 